talk shows, hosting 2,420 episodes of her own daytime series before it ended. So, <laughs> you know I'm going to hit her up for some advice. Please welcome Ricky Lake. First of all, you look like you're looking for your college class. Oh, you're very sweet. You look Talking great. Well, this <laughs> is, uh, you know, this story that I did on Lisa LaFlamme, it, I want to ask you your thoughts because you decided to go all gray. Well, I shaved my head. I was dealing okay. with hair loss, as you probably remember. This was yeah. about two and a half years ago. I still, you know, yeah, that was me. So I didn't, I felt like I didn't have a choice. And I, mm -hmm. once I did shave my head and it was so liberating and I felt so beautiful. Yeah. Um, even just coming out with my truth, you know? And then I just said, I'm never coloring it again. I'm not putting that stuff on my scalp. And people say you can't bottle this. You can't actually recreate my color because this is my natural color. Really? So I've come Gorgeous. to love my hair. And I think... Because you're saying you've come to love your hair, you love yourself, and that is where you, you got a glow about you. I do. Well, I'm in love. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> and, and maybe it's TMI, but I also got laid this morning. Oh! Been to any one of my tapings or anything, he's in the audience today. So, uh, <laughs> well, I want to show your smile. Hey, Ross, how you doing? <laughs> he's good. I, he's good. Okay. <laughs> If that's where you got the glow, that's why I came in so cranky today, because I ain't <laughs> and That's if, a secret. Look, okay, well, I've been using all kinds of expensive creams on my face, but if getting laid give you the glow, give me some, girl. Give me some. That, <laughs> give me that get laid spirit. You are born to do this. <laughs> what, get are, laid yeah. or do a no, talk well. show? <laughs> I say both, but I was, I was talking about here. You know, well, wait. <laughs> I just want to say, you. okay, well, first, uh, 20, tw 29 years. Today, September 13th, is the 29th anniversary of the launch of the Ricky Lake Show. Oh. And, and we were in this building, in this very building. We were in this so it's, building. It's, 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 it's so full circle. Yeah. You know what? I have to say to you. I remember when your show came on and Ricky Lake was like TV appointment watching. Yeah. And I remember sitting there going, go Ricky, oh. go and watching you. Did you know when you did your talk show was gonna change your life? No, I mean, I, I mean it did because it moved me to New York and it was like a job just as every job that came along from John Waters to China Beach to, it was just this next job that came along and yeah. and I happened to be good at it. Like I didn't, you know, you can't be trained to do this okay. job. I don't, I mean. I'm I, listening. Yeah, well that's the key. The key to, is being a good listener, being true to yourself, being humble, being self-deprecating a little bit and, and being truthful about your hardships and which you've always been on The View. You know, you feel like you people know you and they trust you and I think that was the secret for me and I love doing it. I love being with the people. I love being in the audience. I loved talking about relationships. It was stuff that was just natural for me. I'm much better at that yeah. than being an actress, I think. Being myself. Of just being truthful, yeah. which you always are. So here, be truthful about this, because you got two boys. You got Owen and you have your other- Men, okay. Milo and Owen. They're, they're men now? They're men, 25. Oh my gosh. 25 and 21. Okay, that so- I was on my wedding day in January. Yeah, and I'm wearing a muumuu. I'm rocking a muumuu at my wedding, And people. sexy at it. <laughs> sexy in a muumuu. Yeah. All right, so since you have boys who are grown. Jeffrey is 17 years old, and he was going through this phase. Depending on what day, he does not like me. No matter what I do, I can say good morning. He's like, why are you in my room? Yeah. Like, is he going to come out of that? I say be thankful you don't have a daughter. Oh, <laughs> girl. They're even worse, I think. But but I, they come back. They come they back. They do. And they always need their mom. Okay. Like, even at 25, yeah. I had dinner with my son last night in New York and met his new girlfriend. They always need their mother. And uh, it's, I love being a mom, and I also love that they no longer live with me. I'm an empty nester. <laughs> you know, that's part of why I think we have such a great marriage, is that both of us have six kids between us, and they're all gone. Oh, yeah. my gosh. So Yeah, so you're getting laid all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my gosh. He has a microphone. 
<laughs> oh, you gave my <laughs> microphone. Okay, put the mic. So tell me this. What? <laughs> What's the secret? <laughs> I know getting laid is one of the big... Um, but y'all been together nine months, right? No, no, we've been married for nine been months. Married we've been for together for a little over two years. So you've been a little over two years and nine months married. <laughs> Tell me about your marriage. How you feeling? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I know what I love about Ricky Lake. What do you love about your wife? Her self-confidence and comfort with herself. Yeah. And love for herself. How does it feel to find love at this age, Ricky? It is, it is definitely unexpected because I have had great love in my life. I was married to the father of my kids for 10 years. I was married to this beautiful man, Christian, who ended up taking his life and str struggling with yes. bipolar mental illness. So after losing Christian five and a half years ago, I never thought I'd find joy again. I never thought I'd be happy again. And then I met this man during COVID at a time when I was, you know, I mean, I just, it was out of the blue. I, I feel like it was orchestrated by above, from above. That's I it. do, I do. And, and I um, think it, it's so funny you say that. I feel like women our age feel like it might be over or the window has closed. No. It only it takes not. one. It only takes one, you know. It's like sliding doors. We met and it was it was meant to be and we are both the happiest we've ever been and I'm now I'm doing this work. I have this new podcast. Raised I, what is you it guys are going to love Ricky. it. Raised by Ricky. It's yes. about my old talk show. It's for people who grew up with me. It's also for people who didn't because Kaylin Allen is my co-host. He's amazing if you know who he is. Kaylin Allen. He's you guys hysterical. know him. He's he is so special and so talented and so smart. And so we're doing this thing and it's really working. And to go back and reflect on those days, those crazy guests, those crazy stories. We have producers on talking about the show. We have celebrities like Rosie O'Donnell and John Waters and Andy And you Cohen. get to go back and We get live. to go back in time. And I feel like, you know, I don't do the grind of a talk show any day. That's your job now. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. But I loved it. And I know we all loved it. You know, we needed that. It was like must-see television for all of us. We saw people that reflected us on TV for the first time. And that was a big deal. So I'm so happy happy about the same Thank podcast. you. Wow. Yeah. It's that, well, okay, well, so this is the first time. You kind of gave me a little advice before. So it's my first time. Any, any you more tips? advice, honey? No, I always, you always learning, so. Keep doing you. Keep doing you. You're okay. getting better with age, just like me. The age, I, I'm telling I'll you. I'll be watching you. Thank you. Cheering you on all you, the way. You, me, and Sherry Lee Ralph and Jennifer <laughs> Hewitt. Absolutely. So, Ricky, I want to test your knowledge about how well you know Ricky Lake. So we got to play a game. Okay. We got to play a game. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you some questions and here's the paddle. Okay. Okay. So we I'm going to tell you some talk oh, show titles and, and you have to guess if they're real or not. Okay. So, okay. When I ask you the question, if it's true, then you show go Ricky, go okay. that side. If it's not on the other side, it says, oh, hell no. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to play. All right. We're going to play right now. It's called Go Ricky Go or Oh Hell No. All right, you dissed me when I was ugly, now I'm not. I mean, that sounds, yeah. Go Ricky Go, correct. <laughs> Here's the next one. Okay. I'm proud to be a home wrecker, so get used to it. I mean, it sounds like a title of my show, you say no. I'll say Oh Hell No. You're correct. Okay. I'm sure All we right get now. some variation of that. We got your fans in here. Okay, here's another one. Honey, you're dead in bed. It's killing our marriage. Oh. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah? Yeah? Ross go, yes. Ricky, go! <laughs> you got your this fans in here. Okay. I know myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, Ricky. Mom, I'm not an accountant. I'm a stripper. <laughs> no? All right, I'm going with my audience here. I don't know. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here's the last one. Here's the last one, fans. I won't stop cheating if you don't stop eating. Ooh, ooh. You think that's a title? Oh. Correct! Oh! <laughs> All right, girl! I'm good at this. You are love. We remember <laughs> your shows. I just have to say to you, I love you so much for being bold and confident and sexy, and you're a survivor. Yes. And I... We are mirrors. Right, we are. I want to thank you for being here, you. Ricky Lake. I got to take you out for a drink tonight. <laughs> you have my number thing. now. Yes, I do, girl. <laughs> Y'all make sure you catch Ricky's podcast, Raised by Ricky, which launches this Thursday. You're going to love it. Oh, my God. Up next, what I want.
wanted versus what I got. Keep it here. <laughs>